Why are we looking at this instead of watching Danny's house? Because it's inspiring to think the Mona Lisa was painted almost 500 years ago by the artist Leonardo DiCaprio. Why hasn't she got any eyebrows? Earth's most famous painting, and that's all you can say. Wow, she looked better with eyebrows. <laughs> what have you done? Oh, it's not like it's the original. Of course it's the original! You teleported the original Mona Lisa onto our ship! I wanted to teach you about human art! We found guilty of intergalactic art vandalism. <laughs> Relax. I know what to do. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> look on the bright side. We've got a whole new series of Danny's house to look forward to. Now that is art. That's only a painting. <laughs> Guys, great to see you. My name's Danny, and this is her best friend Sam. Sam, as I was saying, my name's Danny, and this is her other best friend Jack. Stuffing his face as usual. As I was saying, my name's Danny, and this is her brother Max. I need to make Ben. It's Get on my way. Quiet. As I was saying, my name's Danny, and this is Danny. Oh, You are just in time to witness my first proper small screen debut. I should probably get a bowl for that. <laughs> I have landed a small acting role in McCurdy's Hospital. It's one of the biggest soap operas on TV, and the episode of my first scene is about to start. Danny, hurry up, it's about to start. Oh, let's go watch. <laughs> Quick, we're gonna miss it. Hurry up, I can investigate the fringes of elementary thermodynamics. Or maybe you could tell me why you're hogging the comfy cushion. Stop it! I'm trying to come up with an experiment for the upcoming science expo. I've got scientists blocked, Jack. I'm all out of ideas. Up next. Oh, I've got an idea for you. Stop hogging the comfy cushion! I always get the lumpy one. Oh, it's starting! I can't believe I'm going to be on TV. Real TV! This doesn't count. <laughs> Patient. She gets trampled by a herd of panic-stricken cows. <gasps> this is it! This is my big scene! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I prefer that eardrum to be unperforated. <laughs> oh, look! There's you! You're on TV! Any second now, here comes my first line. Shh! Let's listen. Hi. I'm Dr. Rugburn. How are your bruises today, young lady? Your ribs hurt, you say? That's terrible news. Prepare for surgery. They cut out my lines. I had a big speech and they cut me out. They cut me out! Hardy, hardy, hardy. Maybe there's more of you later. That was the only scene I filmed for that episode. I'm sorry, Danny. And I have to go back tomorrow to shoot another one. What's the point if they're just going to cut me out? How many more times do I have to keep having these near misses? Just once, I want a decent meaty roll. I want a decent meaty roll. Maybe some turkey, some ham, <laughs> a slice of cheese topped with... What? On this breakfast? Danny, even little rolls like that are another step up the ladder. Yeah, who knows where this one could lead? You can't let this knockback get you down. You've got to push on. Like, I'm going to push on through my scientist block. You're right. Tomorrow, I'm going to go and give it my all. All right. Just hold my... Just hold my hand and breathe. Just... What do you mean I've been axed? Had a rethink, darling. Just had to save some money and replace you with that. But I was desperate for this job. I just want to be an actor. More blood. <laughs> Try being a TV producer. I've just found out I haven't got anyone to play my newest regular character. Why not? Oh, the actress we've hired has broken both her legs in a bizarre gardening accident. <laughs> Where am I going to find someone to play a feisty young nurse at this short notice? I'm feisty. I'm young. I'm an actor. I could do it. <laughs> 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 You've been serious. Just give me a chance to show you what I can do. You won't regret it. Darling, do you really have the gravitas, the experience, the passion to portray a role this complex, this demanding, day in, day out? <laughs> Just give me a chance, please. Fine. Come back tomorrow at 4 o'clock. 
Really? You'll audition me? But it better be the most impressive audition I have ever seen. I want to see emotion, fear, joy, anger. I want to be literally drowning in a sea of emotion soup. <laughs> when I'm done, you'll need mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitate. <laughs> Don't disappoint me. Oh, uh, Serena. Serena, about this light. Okay, see you later. Just hold my hand and breathe. Ah, uh, Captain Squid, you heroic mollusk. Will you never learn that the bad guys always win in the end? Guess what? You swallowed your front door key again? No, well... Yes, but that's not what I want to tell you about. Do you remember that school's painting competition it entered? You know, the one I never told you about. How would I know about it if you never told me? Who cares? I won first prize. I suppose this is the point in which I'm supposed to say well done. Oh, thanks, Max. So what did you win? Just some cash. <laughs> what do you think? It's based on a dream I had. Well, I say dream. I wasn't actually asleep, but... Do you know what this means, don't you, Ben? Not in the slightest. It means that your talent, combined with my genius for business, can make us a fortune. Good morning, folks. It's 9.30 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I have split atoms, catalogued acids, and tested the effects of dance music on sausage dogs. I need something new. So anyway, what's this part you're up for? Nurse Emily Wood Magnet. It's only a small role, but it's regular. Nice. Oh, no. Just realised what a big deal this audition is. What if I'm rubbish? Well, it's all right. Maybe you can take, like, a quick refresher course or something. Where am I going to find an acting teacher at this short notice? I need a really good one. One that can wring every last drop of emotion out of me. I could be a writing teacher. Well, you must have some books about acting. We can work from those. OK, I'm desperate. I'll go see what I've got. <clears throat> You're going to experiment on Danny, aren't you? How very dare you, sir. As if I'd experiment on my best friend without her knowledge. <laughs> so what if I am? Danny needs to get in touch with her emotions and I need an experiment for the science expo. What kind of experiment? I'm going to attempt to artificially trigger Danny's emotions. You are going to tell you're doing this, right? Of course. Afterwards. <laughs> Probably. See this face? Hmm? This is my I think you're making a big mistake face. You've got ketchup on it? Now see this face? This is my I don't care what you think, I'm going to do it anyway face. Got it? <laughs> All the hottest painters are urban street artists. People like Mr Brainwash and Banks. They're passionate. Street. Gritty. If we're going to have you compete with them, then we need to make you cool. But, Max, being cool doesn't come naturally to me. Whenever I try it, I get windy pops. Which is why we need to get you pointers and the coolest person we know. <laughs> to understand the art of acting, we must first study its origins. Write this down. It is believed that our prehistoric ancestors would entertain one another with a primitive form of comedy acting. Unfortunately, with the first actors came the first critics. <laughs> Our journey along the road of time next takes us to ancient Rome. Pulso, pulso. Quis est? Imperatore Caesar. Imperatore Caesar who? Imperatore... Sam, sorry, do we have time to do the complete history of acting? <laughs> what would it make you feel if we did? Bored. Fascinating. So, what are the emotions you need for this scene? The producer said she wanted to see emotion, fear, joy, anger. <laughs> Why don't we start with joy? <laughs> Sam, what's in there? It's not something sciencey, is it? Oh, you're not going to zap me with science, are you? I don't like it when you zap me with science, and I can get through this audition without needing to be zapped by science. Danny, calm down. Look. 
they are so cute. And how do they make you feel? Oh, warm and tingly and happy. Oh, so happy. I could eat them all up. Not literally, because that would be all kinds of messed up. So, in other words, you feel joyous. Joy, exactly. I made you feel joy. Result. What are you writing? Nothing. A two! Danny, be careful. You're getting colloidal mucus all over the chicks. Oh, I think it's the feathers. Oh, great. Now, when I think of them, I'm just going to get annoyed. A two! It's all very interesting. Interesting? Interesting for you, of course. It will make you a better actor. Oh, right. A two! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what do you want? Oh, hi, Jack. Didn't see you there. <laughs> ben, you've been spying on me from behind that sofa for the last 20 minutes using that joke telescope. Joke telescope? <laughs> oh, I'm trying to pick up some pointers. I want to become cool. <laughs> ben, just walk around the couch. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you come to the right man. Young Ben, what do you see when you look at me? Let me take a closer look. <laughs> Joke telescope, Ben. I'll tell you what you see. You see a graduate from the School of Hard Knocks. And this is the story of how I became the man, the legend, that I am. <laughs> that I am. Oh, no. These things were smallish, three bedrooms, semi detached. You know, we even had to share a bathroom. No way! Wait. School life was tough, Ben. Just endless rounds of lessons, homework, and brutal. Brutal PE. What are you on about? <laughs> what's, um. Uh, what's, what's up, Danny? Just killing time while Sam sets up for the next lesson. Jack's showing me how he became cool so that I can become an authentic urban street artist. You see, Danny, maybe you can fake an ice cold attached persona through acting, but for me, well. For me, it's 100% real. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. Hey, I grew up on the wrong side of the tracks, right? You grew up in a pretty house on a leafy cul-de-sac with a mum and dad who let you eat crisps every night after brushing your teeth. Well, maybe that's the point. You know, maybe you don't have to have a tough upbringing to be street. If I can be a super cool DJ without having anything remotely bad ever happen to me... Maybe I could become a super cool artist too. Exactly. <laughs> now pull your trousers down. I'm sorry. Just trust me on this one. You're right. This does feel cool. It's slightly naughty. Daddy, I'm ready for you. I'll leave you boys to it. Keep it real, though. <laughs> See that, Ben? That is how not to be cool. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, coordinator. But I don't think this is what the humans mean by being cool. I think you may be right. We may have lowered the temperature slightly too much. I'll turn the heating on. I can't fix the thermostat. I'll do it. No good. I can't reach it either. Oh no. What? I have to visit the little aliens room. Try and hold it in. So what? Never mind. <laughs> Sang. Sorry. Subject D has demonstrated that humans can quickly switch between emotional states. And that some. Who are you talking to? Nobody. No, I definitely heard you talking to someone. Oh, what's that? On my new phone. I was just talking to my mum, seeing what we're having for dinner. Oh, what are you having for dinner? Anything nice? Breakfast. <laughs> we're having breakfast for dinner, which is which which is strange, I know. It's a very strange thing for me, for my mum, to have said. <laughs> anyway, on with the next lesson. Let's try and focus on the emotion of fear, shall we? Danny, will you take my hand? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? Nothing! I just touched it! I think I'm gonna pass out. How do you make calls on this thing? Danny, wait! I 
was just helping you to explore the emotion fear. See? <laughs> subject D has demonstrated that humans can quickly switch between emotional states. <laughs> Sam, who's subject D? Nobody. My mum? It's me, isn't it? I'm subject D. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, but if we're going to make any money, then we need them even more urban. Make them another 10% more street. <laughs> Careful now. I don't want the world to see my entire underpants. He'll do. Listen, I need to make a few more phone calls. By the time I get back, though, I expect to see some more art. Get painting. <laughs> I've done all I can. It's up to you now, Ben. What's the matter? I don't know what to paint. Maybe I did need a tough upbringing to give me inspiration. Or... <sighs> you can paint me instead. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. You're right. Oh, my foot. My best foot. Now I'll never be able to put it forward. Talk to me, baby. Wait. This is good. This is all really good. I'm feeling really inspired. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to another edition of Archie Pants. This week, we'll be learning how to paint fruit. I like to use blue paint and a brush. Now, you dip the brush into the paint, like this, and just get painting, quick as you like. That's it. Slap it on nice and thick. Wonderful. And there we are. That is how you paint fruit. <laughs> Next week, I'll be showing you how to do a self-portrait. Yes, he's the hottest new street artist on the scene. Uh, that's right, his name is Benzo, and his debut exhibition is at 5 p.m. tonight. I'm so angry. You're not, you not worth saying sorry now. Look, I was trying to help you, I promise. Project Actor, a study into the emotional complexity. Complex. Complex. <laughs> whatever, of a young woman, subject D. Danny, come on. I helped you, didn't I? What are you feeling right now? Like I want to grab your head, scrunch it up as if it was a sheet of paper, and feed it to a particularly unpleasant horse. <laughs> so you're angry. That's good. Joy, fear, and now anger. That's not all I'm feeling. I'm hurt too. I can't believe you do this to me, Sam. You know how important this audition is. You know how stressed I am. Look, I'm sorry. I just need an experiment for the science expo. I was desperate. You could have at least asked me first. You're right. Maybe we can practice the script together. What time's your audition? Four o'clock. Ten to four. What? But it takes me at least an hour to get to the studio. Thanks, Sam. Thanks a lot. I knew you being my teacher would end in tears. That is brilliant. It's a little bit weird, but, you know, it's brilliant. <laughs> when the speaker fell on my foot, I just had to capture what I was feeling and channel it. You got the talent, you got the look, seems you got the passion. You remind me of me. <gasps> Not bad. Now all you have to do is come up with another dozen or so paintings by this evening and we'll be rolling in cash. Why this evening? We're holding an exhibition of Ben's work at a top art gallery. Well, I say art gallery is the living room. But this is the only work I've created so far. Well, then you best get busy. I've sent out dozens of emails to tons of influential art types, telling them all about you. You don't want to disappoint them, do you, Ben? <sighs> Great art should be motivated from the heart, not the wallet. I don't care what motivates him. I just want him to get those paintings done so I can get rich. <laughs> oh, and Jack, I need you to DJ at the exhibition tonight. But I'll pay you. I'm in. <laughs> he always does things like this. He makes me so angry sometimes. So angry I could... Use it. Use that passion, Ben. Use it to create something well good.
You really had a lot you wanted to get out. <laughs> right. She's had long enough. You're an hour late, darling. Yeah, and I know there was there was a problem with the bus. What was the problem? Oh, that there was this um, big seabird and it crashed through the windscreen and the driver was swerving all over the place trying to get the bird off and the bird was just flapping, going, wah, wah. Danny, you know what we need our actors to be on this show? Above all else. Talented, funny, glamorous? On time. <laughs> Give me one good reason why I should still audition you. Can I have a few minutes to think about it? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please trust me, Benzo will be here very shortly and the exhibition will be underway. In the meantime, can I interest you in some nibbles? Um, we have uh, picnic eggs, uh, mini samosas and prawny puffs. So... Where have you been? I can't stall them much longer. Where do you think I've been? I've been grinding my digits and knuckles, man. My art has been flowing so hard I couldn't hold back the tide, so back off. I'm liking the surly urban attitude. I'm not enjoying having it directed at me. Oh, suck it up, man. <gasps> Uh, j just get your stuff set up as quickly as you can. Uh, artists, temperamental, you know how it is. Um... You're sloppy and unprofessional. I don't want someone like that on my set. You simply do not have what it takes to make it in this profession. Now scram before I call security. Hey! Yes? What gives you the right to talk to me like that? <gasps> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, all right, I was late, but I apologised. And the reason I was late was because I spent the whole day preparing for this audition. All I wanted was a chance. Just one chance. One chance to soar, to glide, to rocket to the stars, to turn and look back down to Earth and say, yes, Danny, that is where you came from. That is where this dream began. To yell at the top of my lungs. This is what I was born to do. This is why I am here. I am an actor. I act, therefore I am. But now, I guess that chance has just crumbled at the vine. Destiny has other plans for me now. This dream was never meant to be. This dream has just turned to dust, always dust. Oh, look at me. I'm such an idiot, crying in front of a stranger. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. I feel like my cheeks are on fire. Anyway, I guess I should be going now. <laughs> I won't waste any more of your time. Wait. Maybe I was a little hasty. <laughs> Yo, I'm finished. Uh, about time. Uh, ladies and gentlemen of the art world, I'm proud to present the hottest new talent on the street art scene. So get your wallets and purses ready. It's Benzo. Uh, what should we start the bidding at? Should we say uh, 10,000 apiece? <laughs> Boy, he's so funny. <laughs> you done? <laughs> How much for the picture of you as a donkey? <laughs> that, that's not for sale. Actually, none of these are for sale. This exhibition's over. I can pay in cash. How about £5,000? £5,000. £5,000? No, no, th there's been a terrible mistake. None of these are for sale. Stop looking at them. Th this exhibition is closed. Stop looking at them. Get out. Get out. This exhibition's over. Get out. Get out. <laughs> Benzo is officially retired. Look before.
before you say anything, I want you to know how sorry I am. You're right, I should have never used you as the subject of my experiment. I just got carried away and I feel terrible. You feel terrible? How do you think I feel? I know. Look, I'll go and you'll never see me again. Sam? Yes? Acting. What? Just then, I was acting. So you're not really annoyed? Why would I be? when I just landed the role of Nurse Emily Wood Magnet in McCurdy's Hospital. Really? Oh! <laughs> in a real TV! For real! In a real TV show with the character name and the dressing room and all that! The producer said I gave one of the most multi-textured auditions she's ever seen. Oh, you got your big break! I couldn't have done it without you. My emotions were so raw when I went in there, it was like I had them on tap. Yes, you can write it down for your project. <laughs> What are you looking so happy about? You should be pleased for your sister, Max. She's gonna be a TV star! You got the job? Oh, Danny, that's amazing! Can I have your autograph? Don't make it weird, Jack. Oh, congrats, Danny. That's well cool. Hey, maybe when you're famous, you can hire me to paint your portrait. Oh, hey, your painting days are over, sunshine. I don't trust you anywhere near a canvas again. Yes, Max. Sorry, Max. Oh, and pull your trousers up. You look ridiculous. <laughs> so? Our friend, the TV star. You're gonna remember us when you're famous. Sorry, who are you again? Oh, 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 well, it's quite simple, Coordinator. Danny is on Danny's house, but she's now also in another show called McCurdy's Hospital. What would happen if her character in McCurdy's Hospital got a part in a TV show? And what if that character got a part in a TV show? And what if that character got a part in a TV show? And what if that character got a part in a TV show? And what if that character got a part in a TV show? And what if that character got a part in a TV show? And what if that character got a part in a TV show? I don't know. But you're making me dizzy. <laughs>